If developing this morning, life in prison for the man convicted of killing his wife and three children in Osceola County. Anthony Tote shaking his head last night as guilty verdicts on all charges were read in court. All before Tote once again tried to convince the judge he didn't do it. Ezzy Castro is live at the Osceola County Courthouse for us this morning. And Ezzy, it took the jury several hours to reach its decision. Yes, over six hours, actually. And at one point, the jury told the judge that they were deadlocked before they eventually came up with a unanimous verdict. But it was Anthony Tote's reaction in court that caught our attention. Despite being sentenced to life in prison, he says he's innocent. As to count one, first degree murder of Zoe Elizabeth Tote. You were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Anthony Tote was found guilty for killing his wife, children and dog at their celebration home in 2020. Tote, who blamed his wife for the killings during the trial, spoke out after the verdict was read, shaking his head, again insisting he was not there the night his family died. This was a personal catastrophe in everybody's life in my family, including myself. I maintain my innocence. I provided for my wife, did everything I could for my wife. Tote also went on to talk about his wife's health over the years. She was progressively sick over the years. There were days which were worse, days which were better. She was kept on a pedestal from me. My kids kept, I, I did everything for them. But in the end, the judge called Tote, quote, a destroyer of worlds before telling him he'd spend the rest of his life in prison. Tote, of course, will likely appeal. We just don't know exactly when that will happen. Meantime, we spoke to the victim's aunt who said that Tote was just very controlling with his wife. We're going to hear from her coming up at 630. For now, live in Osceola County, Ezzy Castro getting results. News 6.